It's a distinct personal pleasure to announce the winner of this award because Clifford and Betty were really close friends with my family. <coughs> Betty was a very close friend of my mother's and Cliff worked with my dad for decades at the West Bend Company as his right-hand man where they acquired out seven or eight companies uh, during that tenure. And uh, they weren't introduced individually, and they were introduced as the Nelsons, but David and Janet and Paul, uh, it's great that you came back to hear this, uh, this award this evening. This year's award recipient is Claire Rouse. Claire and I go way back. <laughs> <laughs> we went to kindergarten together. <laughs> Plain school, and it was the only elementary school in the city. And Claire, you're going to kill me for saying this. But it was in 1954. <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> so you think I can hear? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, you know, I lost track of Claire for many years. She she moved away and was out in Oregon. And about a decade ago, she decided to move back to her roots in West Bend, Wisconsin. And uh, we we reconnected and. <clears throat> It's really been fun to watch her never forget her roots, her DNA, where her family's uh, business flourished. And she's given back uh, tremendously to this community. She bought her grandfather's home up on the hill, on the top of Decorah Hill. She could have sat back and wrote checks to her favorite causes, but that's not clear. She likes to really be involved. And she's been more than involved. We, we all often hear the overworked term, um, giving up your time, treasure, and talent. Well, that really, that same really embodies Claire. Uh, she's, she's done that. Washington County's been the recipient of, of all, all of that give back. Um, her give back touches all walks of life in Washington County, from the environment to the elderly to the youth to education and this building, the arts. Um, I'll list a few of her accomplishments and involvement, uh, but you know, starting with she's the current president of Museum of Wisconsin of Art. And you know, this great institution was really the catalyst for jumpstarting the, the redevelopment of the Riverwalk and, and downtown of West Bend. She's also the president of the foundation uh, of the Threshold. Um, she's president of the West Bend Community Foundation. Most of you know the significance of that organization, but it's about $75 million of, of assets. And it was Cliff Nelson and my father that each donated a million dollars exactly 25 years ago this year that created that fund. And what a motivation that was for 55 other families and organizations to contribute to that $75 million today. That organization has given back over $50 million over the last 25 years. Most of that is stayed in Washington County. Uh, and each year they give about $3 million. Uh, most of that, again, goes back into Washington County. Uh, so that, that organization has given Claire a great perspective on all of the agencies and social needs in our community. And the ones she's identified with uh, mostly is where, she, where she's gotten involved. Not real well known by many people here is Claire was the person that really helped save the 283 acres what is now the Washington County Golf Course. Her uncle Bob Rouse and my uncle Bernie were the ones that raised the money and provided the leadership and oversaw the construction of the course in the clubhouse um, but they forgot to put protections on it so that it never could be developed or sold. And Claire got a call from Maury Strupp. Maury was an old time county supervisor. And Maury said, Claire, the county supervisors are entertaining a motion to sell off some of the land for $300,000. And there are even some supervisors that think we shouldn't be in the, the golf course business. And for those of you that are golf, golfers know, this has been voted the number one municipal yeah. course in the state of Wisconsin and, and one of the top 30 in the country. So. Claire jumped into action. She called a few of her friends, a few of her relatives. Um, after six months of discussions and negotiations with 
County people uh, came to a, a miraculous solution, and that was that $300,000 sale turned into a $3 million endowment fund, $1.5 million raised by, raised by Claire and her friends, uh, one and a half we asked for the county to contribute, which they did, and all of the annual granting that comes out of that, about $150,000 a year, goes back into parks and recreation and trails in Washington County in perpetuity. Just a, a, a great novel idea. But the best part of it was not just the three million dollars. That land is protected in perpetuity. It's got a conservation. It's got a, a restricted easement on it now, whereby the county cannot sell it. Uh, they can't uh, develop it commercially, uh, residentially, or industrially. And if the people stop golfing in the future, uh, that property has to be used for recreation for the benefit of Washington County residents. So that, that's just a, a wonderful thing, and Claire, Claire led the charge on that. Um, when the city of West Bend started paving, repaving downtown West Bend, uh, Claire and a few of the private sector people uh, noticed that there wasn't anything in the budget to green up downtown. And uh, that private group, which Claire was a very active participant in, went out and raised $400,000. We asked the city to step up and contribute 100,000, which they did, and you've all seen the result of that now. Uh, we've got 100 new pots and planters, which will be planted every year, and uh, it's, it's really beautiful, and will become more beautiful as time goes on. Um, she's been a director of the Albright, Albright uh, Free Clinic, uh, was instrumental in the affiliation of the clinic with the Lakeshore Healthcare uh, Community Healthcare Organization is currently um, a director of the Albrecht, what is it, Claire, the Fund for the Underinsured? Fund for the Underinsured. Okay, I got, I got that right. Um, she's also president of the family T.J. Rouse uh, Foundation, uh, which has made a lot of very generous grants to things around the community. And she's a director of the separate Rouse Foundation, which is the edu educational fund, which grants uh, substantial scholarships every year. Um, so we're very fortunate that Claire moved back to West Bend. We didn't forget her roots. Um, I've had a lot of fun the last 10 years working with Claire on a lot of things. And so Claire, it's really my pleasure to announce you as this year's 2024 recipient of the Betty and Clifford Nelson Leadership Award. Thank you.